الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله صلاة الفجر كما تعلمون as is already well known to us I'm sure is عظيم and very important as Muslim men for us to strive <coughs> to pray it in the masjid to not leave the fajr prayer to do our best to be in the, the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but especially to get the fajr in the get the fajr in the morning and to pray isha in the masjid at night as the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in used to view the person who did not make the Fajr prayer and the Isha, those are signs of hypocrisy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from hypocrisy. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said in authentic hadith, Rakatay al-Fajr khayran min al-dunya wa ma fiha wa kama qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said that the the two unit <coughs> the two unit prayer of Fajr is better than the dunya and what it contains. And this was in reference to the Nawafil, to the extra uh prayers of Fajr, not to the actual Salat itself, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, showing us the importance of Fajr prayer, that it is better than what is contained in the dunya, everything, subhanAllah. And Salat al-Fatiha, ayah al of course, is recited in all of our prayers. And it is one of the greatest verses or chapters of the Qur'an. وَلِهَذَا اَحْتَاجَ أَبُوْ هُرَيْرَ بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ عَلَى وَجُوبْ كِرَاءَةِ الْفَاتِحَةِ فِي الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى مَعْمُومِ Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه believed, considered the obligation of reading the Fatiha in the Salat was an obligation upon even the followers in prayer behind the Imam. And as the Lil from the hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there is no salat or prayer for the one who does not read or recite Fatiha al-Kitab. So there the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam negated that the prayer of the person who did not read Surah al-Fatiha would be accepted. So that also illustrates for us ayyul habbati billah the importance of reciting Fatiha and reciting it properly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa aqim as-salat li duluq al-shams ila al-ghasq al-layl wa Qur'an al-fajr inna al-Qur'an al-fajr kana mashhura Allah says in Surah Al-Isra 
perform a salat from midday till the darkness of the night, letting us know it's talking about Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, and recite the Quran in the early dawn, the morning prayer. Verily, the recitation, recitation of the Quran in the early dawn is ever witnessed, attended by the angels in charge of mankind of the day and the night. So letting us know that our prayers are witnessed and especially <clears throat> our recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha and during the Fajr time. And this is known as Imam Al Allama Al Muhakkak Abdurrahman ibn Yahya Al Muallami Al Yamani Al Yamani Al Yamani Rahmatul Alayhi as he said, he said, Mu Murad bil Quran bil Quran Al Fajr Salati Kama Hu Wadah min Siyak Uruyan ibn Abbas wa Mujahid wa Ghayrihima. So he said, and what is meant by the Qur'an of Fajr is the prayer itself, the Salat, Salat al-Fajr. And this is clear from the context of the ayah. And this is also which was what was narrated upon Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma wa mujahid wa ghayrihima min mufassireen rahimahumullah jami'an wa fi sahihain an abi hurayrata an nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam وَتَجْتَمِعُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ اللَّيْلِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ النَّهَارِ فِي صَلَاةُ الصُّبْحِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه as collected in Bukhari and Muslim he said that the angels of the day and the angels of the night they come together during the morning prayer, Salatul Subh. So, Ayyullah Habitu Fillah, which one of you wishes not to have the angels witness on behalf of him, witness on his behalf, his prayer to his Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in the morning prayer? So this should encourage us to not be lazy, especially now that the Fajr prayer is so early. Here in my locality, the Adhan comes in at 3.30. The Imam makes the Adhan, 3.30 in the morning. And it's very hot. And it's very, it can be a trial for many people to make it. Except for those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is favored to make it to the masjid to pray to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the angels to witness his walking to the masjid after having made wudu and the mashakka, the difficulty of leaving his bed. Likewise for the women, not necessarily them going to the masjid necessarily but making sure that they pray the Salat al-Fajr and that it will be witnessed by the Malaika. Ayyullah habati fillah Let's do our best to not forget our duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make sure that we encourage one another in our families to pray the Fajr prayer, to pray all of our prayers. For some of us have spouses that don't pray at all. And we 
might not even encourage them or say anything. And this harms us and our families. Some of us have spouses or friends or know people who pray sometimes and who are very lazy, especially about the Fajr prayer. That they've made it a part of their regular practice to not pray it. Or not pray it in the masjid for the men. Especially if you're not on a job or, or work which requires that you have to pray it at work at the time of Fajr. So we have to encourage, I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to set our alarms and do whatever it takes that's necessary to make the, that Fajr prayer. And the greatness of the Fajr prayer or of the Fatiha, Surah Al-Fatiha, which is witnessed during the Fajr prayer and witnessed throughout all our prayers, in fact, is that Surah Al-Fatiha مَبْنِيَّةٌ عَلَى تَوْحِيدَ الْعِبَادَةِ That Surah Al-Fatiha is built upon Tawheed al-Ibadah Tawheed al It's encouraging you and it is uh, one of the greatest supplications you can make filled with humility Humbling yourself before your Lord, asking for guidance, asking for forgiveness, asking for His favor, seeking refuge in Him and Him alone. That's ibadah. Because you're putting your ibadah, your worship, you're directing it all to Allah. Through direct acts of ibadah, by supplicating, by asking, by seeking refuge in Him. That's ibadah. That's worship. And this is why Imam Asan'ani mentioned this, and he said that in the beginning of the surah, or the asal of the surah, is the statement of Allah the Almighty, which is us supplicating to Allah, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ it is you alone who we worship. And it is you alone who we seek refuge in. Is there any humility or is there any greater ta'veen than that? Humbling yourself before the Lord, the the, the Lord of the heavens and, and earth, <clears throat> the Lord of all creation, who you've never seen, but you've seen his signs. Women ayati alayla wa nahara wa shamsu wal qamar. La tashiru li shamsi wa la lil qamar wa shiru lillahi aladhi khalaqahun lin kuntum iyahu ta'abudun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Baqarah, and from his signs is the day and the night. Women ayati alayla wa nahara wa shamsu wal qamar, and the sun and the moon. لا تسير لي شمس. Do not prostrate before shams, before the sun. ولا تسير لي القمر. And don't prostrate before the moon. واسير لله الذي خلق ونن كنتم إياه تعبدون. Prostrate yourself before Allah, the one who created all of them. If it is Him you truly worship. Subhanallah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us with tawfiq in worshiping Him properly, in a manner that pleases Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our evil deeds and help us to be of those seeking His mercy, great, His grace, mercy, and favor, praising Him in the day and in the night, and attending the Fajr prayer for the men, and praying the Fajr prayer for our sisters that our sisters should be praying the Fajr. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.